Hi everyone, my name is Jade Calvert. I own and operate Calvert Associates Canadian Immigration Services. Today I'll be talking about uh, students coming to Canada to study for September 2020 and how COVID-19 and government restrictions are affecting those who are coming to Canada to study. So we're getting lots of questions about, I am supposed to be studying in September. Uh, my program starts September 5th, 2020. Can I come to Canada to study? And so the answer really depends on if you've been in Canada before or if you have an approval letter. So the rule right now is you need to have an approved study permit so that's the actual physical study permit. So usually that means you've already been in Canada studying already, or maybe uh, maybe you're in Canada and you can go to the border and get a study permit. Uh, the other exception to this is that you have an approval letter. So that's an introduction letter that was issued on March 18th. This is very important. So March 18th, 2020 or earlier. That means that you'll be able to board a plane and come to Canada to start studying. If you don't have the study permit or this approval letter, or if you're not in Canada already and able to get that study permit, um, the airlines unfortunately won't let you board that plane to come to Canada to validate your study permit. Um, so in this case, you'll have to start studying online which we'll talk a little bit more about further in this video. So applying for a study permit during COVID-19. So Immigration Canada has, it's more or less the same process, um, but Immigration Canada has changed a couple of things. Um, it's now it's a two-step process, whereas prior to COVID-19, you would apply for a study permit and then they would look at your documentation and approve a study permit. Um, what will happen now is that you'll apply for the study permit and you'll get what's called an approval in principle. What this means is that you essentially meet all of the requirements to get a study permit. You just maybe need your biometrics or background clearance as the second part of the um, approval. Um, so what this approval in principle does is it allows you to start studying remotely towards your program. So we're getting lots of questions about studying remotely. Um, Immigration Canada has made some really interesting changes in terms of eligibility for the postgraduate work permit. So let's say you get an approval in principle. Um, we're getting lots of questions about how much of the program can I complete remotely? Uh, so the answer is, so once you have that approval in principle, um, you can complete half of your studies, which is really important remotely up until you know you finish half of those studies or up until Immigration Canada will allow you to travel to Canada. So how this will affect the postgraduate work permit, so the question we get a lot is will this affect my eligibility for a postgraduate work permit? So usually in Canada, so if you study in Canada for a period of time, after you've completed your studies, you can get what's called a postgraduate work permit, which is an open work permit allowing you to work for any employer in Canada. So with the new COVID policy, you can now complete half of your program online, so outside of Canada in your home country, before you actually travel to Canada to start studying. So this is really helpful for those who, even if you can't physically come to Canada this September or maybe this coming January to start your schooling, you can still study online as long as your institution offers it. And then that actual uh, study experience will count towards the um, total time that you've studied in Canada and help you to qualify to get that postgraduate work permit, which of course everybody wants because it helps with their permanent residency application. So that's everything for today regarding studying in Canada for September 2020. If you have any more questions regarding uh, COVID restrictions for students uh, for this upcoming calendar school year, you can contact us. We're online at calvertimmigrationservices.com.